good afternoon. It is December 31st, the last day of the year. Shit, now it just occurred to me. It's New Year's Eve, so happy New Year's Eve to you. And uh, goodbye 2018. Um, it's 3.18 p.m. And this is episode 333. I was thinking about this idea and a couple of others last night, but I kept going back to this one. Even when I started drawing it, I wasn't too sure if it was the way to go. Uh, but after I got working on it, I was totally convinced by that point. So I was just like, this is just goofy, and I, I, I dig it. I guess the only real point in this is uh, Donald Trump's insecurity regarding Barack Obama. Um, he's like that guy he never gets over his girlfriend's ex-boyfriend. He's always worried if he was nicer, better, she still thinks about him, if he had a bigger wiener. In this case, all of the above is probably true. You don't get to see all of these drawings today because I kept going back over some things. It's like I didn't like the way I drew Trump this one time. Then I didn't like where he was. So I lowered him down a little bit, made him a little bit shorter. Um, I don't think I recorded drawing Melania because it took a while with that one. I thought we'd have like a 45-minute a video if I kept all that in. But in case you uh, don't know, in case you're that one guy who comes in here commenting for the conservatives. Now I think we might have two. Um, Gallup released a poll of uh, the most popular person. They've been doing it since uh, the 50s. It's been 72 years. I don't remember exactly which year they started. But for every year except for like 12 out of the 72, uh, the winner is always the president of the United States. Always. Well, I just said always except. Uh, um, last year, though, number one was Barack Obama. This year, number one is Barack Obama. In fact, Obama has the second most number ones at 11. Only, the only person who has more is Dwight Eisenhower. And I think Obama might tie next year. Donald Trump has never been number one. He is number two, though. Which is a little bit scary right there. Uh, for the woman, number one this year is Michelle Obama. And uh, the first lady doesn't always come in number one. But the first lady's always come in number one when it was Hillary Clinton. And uh, Hillary Clinton leads with the most number one picks at 22. There's not, no one's even close to her. Um, this year, though, she came in uh, sat, four, third. Yeah, third. She uh, was beaten out by Michelle Obama, number one, and Oprah, Oprah Winfrey, in case you don't know just Oprah from her first name. Number four was Melania. And so I have a theory that Donald Trump does not know about any of this yet because he hasn't tweeted about it. He hasn't, I mean, this is a guy who tweets and tells us, refers to himself as your favorite president. I mean, that's some serious insecurity right there. Um, he even tweeted about Obama yesterday, about his house and hit the wall around his house. And he referred to it as a mansion slash compound. Compound. Um, but, yeah, he just... But, so I'm thinking that he doesn't know about this yet, because here you, you have Obama, more popular than him, also a black guy, and um, two black people, and Hillary Clinton, more popular than his wife. I mean, if he knew about this, he'd be tweeting out a storm. He, just, he wouldn't be able to sit on the toilet without tweeting about it. There's just no way. So I think his staff is keeping it away from him. Don't let him see this. Oh, my God. Don't let him see this one. Don't let him know about this. I mean, two days, we'll stop talking about it. He'll never find out. Nobody tell him. Oh, no. He's going to find out, though, at some point. Maybe someone tweeted the cartoon to him. He'll be like, when that element out, fake news, I'm most popular in Daily Stormer. I can't do it, Trump. I can't. I gave you up halfway through that. I'm always nervous whenever I draw the breast of people who actually exist, you know, not the characters that I create, but like real people, because it just seems like, you know, I'm looking at that detail on them, and I kind of like want to respect that detail on them, I don't want to like ogle it too much. Um, Alright, let's get to some shout outs. 
Shout outs on that note. Yeah. Wim B, why you yanks allow these criminals to roll over you? Don't you people have guns and such? Well, Wim B, thank you very much for your comment. I'm going to click a thumbs up on that, even though I'm not too sure um, where you're going with that. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for the comment. Thanks for coming by. Uh, at least something more specific. I might respond to it. Uh, TJ Thoreau, Thoreau, Thoreau. Uh, Humanity says, what's wrong with using a credit card? I bet most, if not all, affected are Keynesians. I don't even know what you're referring to, dude. Uh, maybe there's something I said and I forget. So, hear that. Chuck Legg says, I, hey, Chuck, how are you doing? Thanks for coming in again. I paid the mortgage by working for a government contractor about at Alaska Job Corps. We're still getting paid, though, thank God, because a 68-year-old man doesn't really have barter-worthy boobs. This is on the last cartoon, which was Show Me Your Boobs. If you haven't seen that cartoon, you need to go look for it. Because if I had to say so myself, it was funny. Um, uh, with the one with the baby cage, baby in the cage, Robert Cortino said, at least you were one of the first. But no, I was not one of the first. I was the very first. Every single one that I saw after that was after mine. And not just like like minute after mine or, or an hour after mine. It was like half a day after mine. And I don't think everybody stole it from me. But I think one of them did. All right. Because he seems to do that a lot. Oh, the coincidence. Darn. Um, Ariel said that I still did the Baby in the Cage cartoon well. I'm sure it's much better than those other people's babies in cages. You know what, Ariel? It is. It really, really, truly is. But um, some of those guys I did it were also really, really, really good cartoonists, but I still think I did it better. And Ariel, I'm glad you're feeling a teeny bit better, so not 100%. Uh, but I made you feel two days in a row a jerk because I was talking about food and junk. Um, yeah. Uh, like the mac and cheese thing with uh, chili on top of it. <laughs> Pretty good. The chili mac, chili on spaghetti. Whatever you do, don't think about eggs and clams if you're not feeling good. Because that'll just ruin you. So don't think about eggs and clams. No. No clams. Right? Don't think about that. Uh, and... Arrow was talking about my newspaper scandalous versus online social media scandalous. As online viewers expect you to actually draw someone showing their boobs. Uh oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and you know what? I think if you do that, you actually draw the boobs or whatever, it, it's not as funny. It just wouldn't have the same impact. I mean, it, it might be, maybe people would go, oh, damn. But just as, from a writing standpoint, uh, it wouldn't. I would rather have good writing and a good joke than the shock value of it. So, like last year, I saw a guy. Uh, well, it looked like Mike Pence was giving Trump a blowjob. Sorry to say that, but uh, I mean here, was, I guess a family thing. Uh, but yeah, that's what it was. And it was like from behind Trump, you could just see what Pimps, 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 Pimps head, Pence's head was doing. So you, you very much get the idea. And I just thought, yeah, you're going for the shock value though. You're just not really going for the good ride. You make people go, damn, ooh, you did that. Ooh, you went there. But... It really still does not that does not make it a good cartoon. I think the the thing is we don't try to make people mad or upset. Um but that's a side effect of doing a good cartoon. I mean I love it when people get upset and get angry and everything. But for the right re reason. So that's that. I got a story about that someone might have to remind me because we're almost out of time about making people upset. Um I'll finish it next time, and Errol will remind me uh, that my newspaper in Fredericksburg wanted to run all those uh, cartoons from France that on uh, Muhammad, and I was the one person who uh, said that we should not, and it just surprised my editors that I was the one saying not, and I'll tell you why in the next video. Uh, Robert Cotino, son-in-law has to work on not getting paid. I'm sorry about that, Robert. The government, Trump, and them are fuckers. All right, and... And Robert Cortino thinks that there's more. this is more proof that the Trump administration is heartless. Or the last cartoon. The, the whole barter for your own thing. Thanks for coming by. Click the red button. And I will. you will not get another video from me until next year. <laughs> Finally got to use that joke. All right. Goodbye, guys. See you tomorrow. Oh, next year. Bye. Click the thing. Ah. Ah. Ah.